Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, I feel like I've been inspired today. Um, I was checking out Bronco's video about Wixwell in Hydra and the way he's able to extend those buffs and eventually Yannicka explodes the Hydra. And I was like, are we totally wrong? Are we totally wrong about how good Wixwell is at extending shields growing shields in terms of building like this whole old school infinity clan boss team because in the video with which broncos put out the shields get massive pretty quick so i'm like maybe we've just got it completely wrong and he's actually equally as effective as a brogney in terms of extending shields so i'm on the test server here and we're going to try out a pretty cool team so we're going for infinite scaling shields I'm going to try and do it without Brogni. I'm going to try and do it without Krisk. Because those two were always the the kind of like drawbacks, I guess. It was like, if you don't have those two champions, then the Infinity Shields thing was just... Well, first, if you didn't have Brogni, it was impossible. But if you didn't have Krisk, it was kind of impossible as well. So I'm looking at... I went into the filters here. And I, I quite often use... If I'm like just theory crafting or whatever... I quite often use this filters tab and I'm looking for other effects, positive, uh, increased buff duration. So who have I got in my teams that could, you know, grow, or, sorry, maintain the amount of buffs that I've got. That's what we're looking for. And I thought, well, Lady Mikage is a good one because she is achievable over time. I could have used Grisur, I could have used Krisk, obviously. You've got champions like Godseeker who are very good at this. Uh, Sandlashed is good. I do have Corvus, who I thought, well, let's throw him in the mix because he's actually got a really cool skill for this. He's banging out tons of poisons. He is reducing the damage we take when we when we take hits because of the poisons. He gives us decreased attack on the boss as well. And he's got this kind of like buff extension. So that was cool. Obviously, Wixwell does it himself on his A2 whilst he's growing the shields. So that was two. Mikage was three, and three is all I need, really, in terms of buff extension to make this work, especially if the buff extension is on a three-turn cooldown. I could also have used, by the way, Hellborn Sprite. I didn't in this video, but Hellborn Sprite's a good one as a budget option. Anchorite's a good one, also on a three-turn cooldown. You could use Demith, uh, also on a three-turn cooldown. So there's a number of options now in the game that do this skill, okay? So three people that extend buffs. Wixwell growing shields and i'm kind of like well hold on a minute without brogney how are we dealing with the stun and actually intercept goes out enough in this comp i'm going to show you to never need worry about a stun again so this is pretty cool so actually brogney not required and then i was like well i've got two more spaces here i want to try and get myself pushing on a two for one speed tune so i want someone who's going to give me increased speed across my team and I thought, who better than the lovely lass Lydia? Because she's going to give us drop defense and weaken on the boss as well. As well as that increased speed buff and strengthen, which means we're going to take less damage. So Lydia's going to come in the mix. And then I was like, well, I've got a space. I might as well just bring someone to smack. And I love pulling Tervold out of the, the pile now and then just to do some damage. So my Tervold's going to come in as my damage. So I plugged this into a calculator, got to the right speeds that I needed. Some of the speeds are quite high, but uh, we're talking about, you know, an end game, not an end game, like we're, we're talking about a good clan boss ultra nightmare team. So you do generally get some high speeds for that. But things to call out, you know, if I was to put in Claude instead of Lydia, works perfectly fine. So he does the same job as Lydia in this sort of setup. Uh, if I was to put in any of the the guys that extend their um, extend buffs on a three-turn cooldown, it still runs the same, so that's all fine. If I was to bring in any damage dealer, it still works the, uh, the same. And if I'm trying to plug Wixwell into this grid, I always use Grisure Iron Gut because he's basically got the same skill set so and he's got the same base speed as well. So this is the comp, and I just wanted to see, like, can Wixwell grow shields at a rate that makes some sense. So let me let me talk you through the builds. Uh, I'll show you the big boys build first. So Tervold, I've got uh, Warmaster as my main Mars tree. Generally, people have got this kind of like defense tree and similar offense tree for their Mars trees. I'm taking Heavencast for damage dealers because 
basically we've got tons of buffs so it makes a lot of sense i built him just full damage he uh, gets a crit rate buff so he only actually needs 70 percent crit rate but basically he's got big boy stats he's He's got a big blessing. He's plus two, so he's going to do tons of damage. But honestly, this could be any damage dealer. Like a Poisoner, it could be Frozen Banshee. Like it could be any damage dealer, honestly. This is just showing off because I'm on the test server and I wanted to do something fun. The card gate is mainly about her speed, 315. This is probably the toughest build because it's fast. You don't need all of the damage stats, which I'm bringing on top here. It's just a bonus for me because I've got the stats to do it. I bought uh, Warmaster as well. So yeah, 315 speed is quite quick. I've got refresh accessories. It's not a requirement. It's just a, a bonus. I've then got my Lydia. Lydia is the other kind of tough one in terms of speed. So she needs to be at 309, uh, which is quite quick again. But I quick capped mine because why not? Got the stats too. I bought Cruelty on her Blessing. I would suggest one person has Cruelty on your team. Probably one person has Brimstone. Have I got Brimstone, actually? Yeah, my card has got Brimstone. So that would just give you extra damage for your squad. So Lydia, yeah, 309. I don't really care about the sets or anything. I'm just getting to the right speed. And I, I tried to crit cap, but again, you don't need to do that. The speed is the most important thing for this one. Uh, we've then got our Corvus. So Corvus I put with Heaven Cast as well. One person in the shield set is really helpful because it gives you two shields to grow. And that's, that's where old school kind of like infinity shield teams were really cool so i've got 226 speed on my corvus very high defense because he's a, a defense based dude and then crit capped with some damage masteries similar to what you saw on turbold and then so the wixwell build i've gone for uh, masteries here so i wanted to take a cycle of magic to try and refresh i wanted shield bearer so that i get higher shield growth now i don't know if this grows my shields by more or just gives me a better initial shield. So I'm actually not in the know on that one, but not sure. And then just sort of standard clan boss masteries. I uh, don't have a blessing on him. I actually went reflex and merciless to try and get as many refreshes of his skills as possible. So he's basically using A2s and A3s almost all the time. And he's at 269 speed. So when we go into the setup then for clan boss and why this is important here is I think Wixwell becomes a clan boss option for lots of players. Like, as I say, the, the, the guys that are doing the resets could be rares. It could be that uh, the rare, the Hellborn Sprite. Both of them could be, if, if you needed it to. So both of them could be that. Any damage dealer in here. And then you do need either Claude or Lydia in this spot and Wixwell. And I think it just works. So no Crisk, no Brogni is a massive boost for this type of team, honestly. So Corvus, I'm just opening with his A1 and then saying, do your buff extension as your priority, your poisons as your secondary. Lydia, open with your A3 and then A2 when you can. Wixwell, A3 into A2. Uh, Mikage is open with your A3 and then A2 when it's available. That's really important. You want to make sure that she's doing her buff increase as a priority instead of her ally attack as a priority. Don't let her change into her other form. And in Tervold, I'm opening with his A2. Because we then constantly grow buffs, I don't need to use it again. So I'm just saying A3 whenever it's available. What's cool as well is this team, um, I'll show you actually on the Deadwood thing. So this is the Void Affinity. You can see how we always get two attacks for every clan boss hit. Let's just zoom in a bit here. See the way for every clan boss turn, turn six, everybody's taking two turns everyone's taking two turns each time now sometimes when you go on to spirit it messes you up right but because of the way wixwell deals with um debuffs it takes longer to sync but actually we do sync in uh, it doesn't show it properly here we actually will sync in with wixwell's intercept um or will we maybe we won't actually I thought we would sink in, but maybe we don't. I thought we sink, synced in. Maybe we do. Yeah, we do later on. Okay. So early on, it's a little bit ropey. We will lose some of our turns, but you notice we never lose our buffs. And yeah, by by later in the, the run, it sinks back to a two to one speed tune. So even spirit, I think will work. It might be a lower damage number, but I think it still works, uh, which is important because you don't want to build something and then have to build something else. Brogny is obviously great because... He just eradicates this kind of decreased speed stuff. But I think it actually just works fine. 
hopefully, like if this changes in this uh, video, I'll, I'll do a run and see what that looks like as well. So we can start an auto. It's full auto from the start, which is important, especially if you want to eventually do quick battles. And you see, let me just pause a second. So, or just go on times one. You'll notice we've got shield set shield. Yeah, that's from Corvus. And then another shield, which is Wixwell applying his shield. So we've got two shields that we're growing all the time. So when Wixwell does his A2, he's basically going to put the growth of both shields going on. See the way we chunk shields there? And then basically what you're looking for is for that to continue throughout the whole run. Okay, you notice we've got intercept on our lead. We've already got intercept on a couple of champs actually, but intercept on our lead is important because the clan boss will attack your leader if all else is equal. And if, and you'll see that, it's going to chunk one of my intercept stacks. And by the time we get to the second stun hit, everybody has got intercept on. The stun is irrelevant to us at that point. It's a shame I can't say to the game, only cast intercept if someone doesn't have it on. Because I actually want him to cast his A2 more often. But because I want it to be full auto, well, it is what it is. I can't, I can't do too much more than that. But look how quickly our shields are chunking up. It's way more effective than I thought when I first saw him in other comps. Because I've now built this to be a shield comp, it's, it's tons more effective than anyone gave this credit for. And I've got to say, I'm only inspired because I saw Bronco's video and I was like, actually, I think we're missing this. I think we're missing how effective this can be. And at this point, no one taking a stun is an issue. I mean, I'm doing tons of damage. Like the damage is chunking up super fast because Turval's just slapping for 900k a hit on the A3. And I'll let this run a bit. So you can kind of get a feel for how how chunky these shields can get really fast. It's it's just pretty much insane. Well, there you go, five minute one key, which is actually so fast, it's insane. Uh, not that we need to worry about that sort of thing anymore since they changed clan boss, but that would have been like, oh my God, I'm definitely building this team back in the day to get a five minute one key. Um, yeah, super cool, but you can see, look at this, look how chunky these shields are um, five minutes in. And... You know, we're taking, like, at this point now, we start to take a decent level of damage back from the clan boss. Does it tell us what we're growing our shield by? It doesn't. We're taking hits for around 10k at this point. Bearing in mind, everyone's got increased defense from Wixwell as well, um, which is kind of, like, uh, a, a nice buff to have. We've got strengthen on as well. Like, we've got a lot of a lot of ways to reduce the damage coming into us. Corvus is doing a bit of that as well. It's, it's actually a really, really cool team. Um... But yeah, Wixwell, with no Crisk, no Brogni, is holding his own super well. Like, and bearing in mind, Crisk used to be one of the main reasons you could make this work because he reduces the damage everyone's taking with that Ally Protect. And we don't have any Ally Protect on here. So it does mean the run will end quicker than a Crisk type team. But yeah, I'm just, I'm actually kind of like, I can't believe it. I can't believe how effectively it's working. The shields are absolutely massive. So I'll let it play through to the end. Let's see what sort of damage we do uh, by the end of this. But I think it's going to be pretty mammoth numbers. <laughs>
I mean, to say we were wrong is a massive, massive understatement. Like, we're not even close. Like in, in the previous Brogney teams, I used to find it difficult to get to a turn limit with my with with Chris in the team as well. You know, absorbing tons of the damage. Wicks well is so nuts at long-term growing shields. It's insane. I wish I knew what value this shield was because we're being hit. You know, as of like turn what sixty or so. Look at the damage he's, he's. Oh, we can't see it now. He's doing like 150k of damage to the shields, and it's not even denting the shields. We've hit the turn limit. Turbold's cruising with a 312 mil. Corvus with 130 mil. Everyone else like around 50 to 60. But I am shocked at how effective Wixwell is doing that job. So, I mean. You know, we've called it out. You can't call out the CCs and say that they, that they didn't tell you this was a fusion that's worth getting. The more people play with this champion, the better he is getting for certain content, especially Clan Boss and Hydra. I mean, damn, that's nuts. Anyway, there you go, guys. Wixwell cruising to my personal best by a mile on Ultra Nightmare. I just wonder, actually, if we... Did we flip Affinity yet? Oh, we did. It's not... It's not um, spirit. But anyway, cruising for a bruising. Let's just do a quick battle here on Nightmare. What are we going to smack Nightmare for? Will it even be able to quantify the numbers? No, it's got no idea. It's too big. It's too big. Anyway, there you go, guys. I've been Hell Hades. I'll see you soon.